For the objective evaluation of hip dysplasia and description in everyday orthopedic care the acetabular index, I, or the center edge angle, C, are frequent measured, but the measurement of I is not valid index for acetabular dysplasia in children over 8 years of age and in cases with subluxation of the femoral head where the center edge angle, C, is not accurately calculated, the acetabular angle of sharp, A, A is especially designed for thesis cases, the A, Offers template appears and you aim to locate the right tear drop by moving the template. By clicking the option point the first point of measurement, C1 right, appears and by repeating the same task you locate the tear drop of the left hip, C2 left. After that, a horizontal line, C1 C2, is drawn. Now you are ready to mark first the right lateral acetabular border third point, C3 right, by pressing the point option. The right, AA, angle over the right hip is measured and the values in degrees are printed on the screen with the relevant categorization as normal, borderline dysplastic, or severe dysplastic over the right hip. Similarly, the left lateral acetabular border, C4 left, is marked on the image by the transparent circular template. Then, automatically, the left, AA, angle is measured and the value is printed over the screen after being compared to the reference database based on the age of the patient. The hip is then categorized as normal, borderline dysplastic. In cases where you have leg length inequality, unilateral luxation of femoral head or THR or obliquity you can choose another way to measure the AA angle. By pressing the option next you activate another method of marking the points. Instead of marking both tear drops, C1, C2, you try to mark two points first right, K1 right, and then left, K2 left, through the eye shield tuberosities, or inferior border of the obturator foramina depending on which was more symmetric and accessible. A horizontal line is drawn, K1, K2, and appears on screen. Now you are ready to mark first to mark by pressing the option point and then the left acetabular border, C4 left, by the same technique as described above, then, automatically, the left, AA, angle is measured and the value is printed over the screen after being compared to the reference database based on the age of the patient. The hip is then categorized as normal, borderline dysplastic. Please see more tutorial videos at developer site.